guys, welcome back to another part of Ratchet and Clank. In the last part, we escaped Ratchet's planet of Velden and crash landed here. So, anyways, uh, I don't even remember what planet this is. Who gives a crap? I like. I got some great bargains. Yeah, shut up. Okay. So we got the pyrosinator crap, which is a flamethrower, but we don't have enough bolts yet. So, anywho, I was as I was saying, like I don't know, the planet names weren't really all that incredibly memorable for me. Memor. Yeah, I, did, I didn't really remember them too well, for, for the most part. I mean, I remember some of them, but for the most part, not really. Remember them more for their distinctive feel and for their names. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm going back this way first. Uh, yes, you can use your Omni Wrench to turn that and open it. I'm not sure if you even get anything through going this way other than a ton of bolts, but... Um, let's just do it for the sake of being able to get that flamethrower. Because I want that for a little later. It's rather useful early in the game, though. There's a lot of enemies with ranged um, weapons, which flamethrower is not exactly too good against. At least not this flamethrower. I mean, there's some flamethrowers we have today that have rather good range, so yeah. You can hit these mushrooms, a lot of them, too get bolts, because, you know, plants usually have a good collection of money. Yeah, and uh, Gadget, Tron, whatever, leaves around those crates which have ammo for their weapons in, so if you don't want to spend money buying more ammo from them, just go and find those on... Oh, crap, I'm almost out of there. This game, instead of uh, forcing you to resurface like Jack and Daxter did, you actually have a, a, an air meter, so if you stay on it too long, you're going to drown. Okay, so, yeah, just, let's just, oh, look, there's some crates back here, okay. Let's just get all these bolts, do, do, do. okay. And drop down. Okay, there's some more bolts here. Not sure if there's anything at the bottom of these other two buckets of water. Can't hurt to check, and there's nothing there. Probably nothing the other one, but I'll go ahead and check anyways. And yeah, you think I would have dropped someone underwater after diving like that, but no, apparently not. Uh, but nope, let me down. Okay. So another enemy robot bird thing. Annoying. Okay, let's. Oh, you can't break that mushroom. Dude, come on. That's not nice. Right, let's just get all this, and you can't break those either. Okay, let's just open this door. about the end of this little pathway to nothing. Okay, a few more mushrooms, and there's the exit. Yeah, anyways, uh, like the lady said in the last part, anyways. Um, whoops. Okay, nano takes your health, so we still don't have enough for that stupid thing. Anyways, you start off with four things of health, and you'll have only four things for most of the game. It's basically nanotech just heals you every time you take a hit from an enemy. So in this game, every hit from an enemy costs you one hit point or nanotech. So yeah, basically that. And they're kind of enough to leave little nanotech things and around every once in a while. There's a point later in the game where you can add more, up to eight nanotech, so you can double your health. But that's not anytime soon. So, yeah. Now let's take you out. Uh, yeah, don't fall in that little canal up there in the middle. Uh, I'll show you why a little later. Okay, let's get this crap. So, yeah. It's a good idea to just break open the 
and use it to hold the nanotech even if you um don't need it at that point because it's not gonna you're not your body's not gonna absorb it so if you take damage you can just run back towards it and your health will rep replenish so that's rather useful uh, nothing over here um, actually if I can make that nope yeah wretch has got a rather weak double jump won't matter too much pretty soon clank will get some upgrades which will help you jump better and wretched I, um, yeah I understand the stream but did you guys have to make him swim that slowly Ugh. okay so I'll just get these last few crates here okay okay let's jump on you That one dude with the cane back in the last part. Dad, blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's am screen! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Yeah, who cares, lady? Okay, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, like she's saying, um, gives you coordinates to planets you can go to, but... Gee, thanks for that information, lady. Um, it gives you coordinates to planets you can go to, but unfortunately, we did not have a ship at this time, so... We're gonna have to keep searching the planet to try to find a ship to get out of this place. I'm gonna just jump down here, and this is why you didn't want to fall in that canal back a little ways back. Because you can't fight this current at all. And it will send you sliding. See, there's the canal part. And, yeah, I'll just send you sliding all the way back. And you can't, like, jump or anything. So now we can buy this little beauty. So, yeah. I like this gun. Um, do, do, do. Uh, we should be able to get some ammo for it down there. So no point buying any from him. Right, so, anyways, like I was saying before that last cutscene cut in, um, because I wasn't paying attention, and I was, we were right there, um, the dude with the cane threatened, uh, Drek with Captain Quark, and apparently Drek knows something he doesn't, because he seems to think Captain Quark is just a pushover or some crap, hmm? Nonsense. And anyways, yeah, it seems everyone thinks Captain Quark can save him. So, if the whole galaxy believes so... Oh, it's just really... Ratchet clank that one dude. More of those clank that one dude, but anyways. So yeah, we gotta go and find him. And so far, we've got no lead as to where the heck Quark is. Clank thinks... McMarks might know. Probably not. Anyways, yeah, so 
Got a pro hoverboard off on some random planet somewhere. So now we probably gotta go help him. So this thing just cut off at all sorts of tangents. Quest to find Captain Quark. Gotta help that hoverboard dude. So a bunch of craps going on right now. Let's switch to the bomb club because it's a little bit better against these guys. And two for one special, baby. Okay. Drawn to, don't really bother trying to swim against it. There's something that will allow you to swim against currents a lot later in the game, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. Anyways, um, doo -doo -doo. Go ahead over here, and the bridge will get attacked. Anyways, um, as you may have noticed, this is one of those planets that Drake is trying to use to build his super duper planet with. I don't know why I didn't discuss this in the first place, but anyway, so yeah. Rich inhabitants are fleeing, and the poorer inhabitants, which can't afford their own spacecraft, are stuck trying to be saved by someone else, so. That kind of sucks since they'll probably get, they'll probably get screwed over before they can escape, but who knows. Um, let's go back here really fast and see if there's anything else. A few boxes, so let's take care of that. Okay. going here and uh, now we're being attacked oh no three of these guys what terror I don't even need my bomb glove don't hurt me don't hurt me oh, what are you mercenaries torturers assassins I I'll tell you anything here Take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not a size. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's RoboShack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee-high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates... All right, so... You can use your ship. Yeah, as she said, we now got a ship to actually get us to those two planets we now have the coordinates for. So, anywho, we've got to lead us to where Captain Quark might be. And we found out that that one dude what came from that earlier cutscene with Drek actually happens to reside on this planet, so... Turns out we've been on the planet Drek was first planning to go after already. So, yeah. Um, also, you may have noticed by some of the cutscenes, this game has a pretty good sense of humor. I like its sense of humor a lot. So, um, 
Anyways, that's enough for this part. In the next part, we're gonna go check out what's happened to Skid McMarks and his agent. So, see you guys then.